Welcome back to Arsenal News TV and today we're going to look at Arsenal's exciting new lineup as Mikel Arteta closes in on a number of signings and Mikel Arteta will be looking to have a new fully revamped squad as he looks to make Arsenal back into European football moving into the new season and Mikel Arteta's squad will have a lot of changes in that team and Mikel Arteta will be looking to improve and find the best players to leave the club and find the best players to join the club and I think Mikel Arteta will have a decent squad to challenge for the top four places moving into the season. So the goalkeeper will be in the form of Aaron Ramsdale and Aaron Ramsdale is someone that has been mentioned as a possible transfer target for Mikel Arteta. We still don't know if it's to be an understudy to Bernd Leno or to be Mikel Arteta's new number one goalkeeper. Mikel Arteta searches for a for an English homegrown goalkeeper as he looks to fill the quota of the required number of English players and Aaron Ramsdale does fit that quota but we will have to see if Aaron Ramsdale will be the regular starter for Mikel Arteta. So the right back will be Callum Chambers and he is someone that will be joining the club after the fact that Hector Bellin's expected departure could mean that Callum Chambers plays in that position and Callum Chambers was given a good run of games ever since he returned from injury and he's been someone that's been a regular starter for Mikel Arteta or more or less the first choice right back for Mikel Arteta and Cullen Chambers is someone that could be starting as the right back since Arsenal haven't been looking at other right back options such as Max Severins was the only real target that they have identified. So in terms of the right centre back position it will be one of Mikel Arteta's priority signings in the form of Ben White and he is someone that is set to become the long term replacement to David Luiz as he takes uh, leave from the club and Ben White is someone that has the ability to dribble back from the defence and take it all the way to the attack and that's something that Mikel Arteta could be able to utilise as we look to improve our creativity going forward and Ben White has the ability to ping good passes and his attacking prowess is something that is very good for a defender as well. So in terms of the left centre back position it will be in the form of Gabriel Magalhaes and he's someone that's had a mixed first season with the club in the first half start of the season he won three player of the month awards for Arsenal but then there were periods of his game in the season where he did look a bit shaky but he did return back to his best form and I think he will be a regular start on the Mikel Arteta but I think there is healthy competition between Gabriel Magalhaes and Pablo Mari but for me I think the aggressive side of Gabriel Magalhaes is something that will make him get the nod over Pablo Mari even though he has more experience. So in terms of the left back position it will be one man his name is Kieran Taney and even though Nuno Tavares has been bought by Arsenal as someone to deputise for Kevin Taney. Nuno Tavares will not be the regular starter for Mikel Arteta but Kevin Taney is someone that could be given an opportunity to really impress after signing a new long-term contract and he's someone that wants to help this team get back into where it should be and get it back to at least close as possible to its glory days and I think that Kevin Taney for me will be someone that will be one of the first names on the team sheet. So moving into the midfield in terms of the right centre mid position, it will be in the form of Thomas Partey. And Thomas Partey is someone just like Gabriel Magalhaes that he has had a mixed season, but in terms of Thomas Partey, he's had much more of a bad season when compared to Gabriel Magalhaes. And now he has one full experience of the Premier League. He's had everything that could go wrong in an Arsenal shirt. He has now changed his shirt number to number five. He calls it lucky. And that is something that hopefully will return his best form back at this football club. So partnering him, it will be in the form of Sambi Lokonga. And this is a question mark many Arsenal fans will have. Is Lokonga someone that is seen as a Gwenjuzi replacement or a Granite Shaka replacement? And I think that Lokonga could burst onto the scene like Matteo Gwenjuzi and really become a regular starter under Mikel Arteta. We do know that Mikel Arteta loves to give youngsters the opportunity to play and even though he's only 21 years old he's captain and elect he's done everything that he should do at a large range and he could be a regular starter on the big cloth setter so in terms of the number 10 position it will be in the form of Hossim Owa and Hossim Owa is someone that has been linked heavily with the Gunners as it's also in Spurs that are fighting for Hossim Owa's signature and Hussein Mowa for me is someone that could fill in that number 10 role even though his versatility can make him operate on the number 8 role and also operate as a winger as well but not someone as a direct winger but someone that can cut inside and really find the key pass but Hussein Mowa is someone that could be signed on the cheap by Mikel Arteta after scouting heavily last season. So in terms of the right winger position it will be in the form of Bukayo Saka and he, him just like 
Kieran Tierney is one of the first names on the team sheet and after his hugely impressive showings last season and at the Euros with England, for me, he's someone that's a regular starter under Mikel Arteta and Mikel Arteta doesn't need to think who should I put in that right winger position, even though we have a very good right wing backup in the form of Nicola Pepe, but there will be a lot of changes throughout the front line in my opinion and even Nicola Pepe could go ahead of Bukayo Saka. So in terms of the left winger position, I think it will be in the form of Emil Smith-Rowe and we can clearly see that Smith-Rowe is someone that's been showing how important he is to this football club and how important he is to Mikel Arteta's plans because once again even in the preseason friendlies because he is in the squad he makes an impact and he is something that Mikel Arteta does admire I think he has signed his long-term contract is just waiting for the unveiling but the most swift role for me could operate in that left winger sort of role if you get a play like Hossim Owe in the number 10. So in terms of the central striker, it will be in the form of Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang and he is someone that needs to show what he is capable of because after signing that big money contract for £350,000 plus per week, he is someone that needs to now show that he is worth that sort of wages, he is worth that sort of abilities and he needs to show that he doesn't want to become the next Mesut Ozil after signing a big money contract and hopefully in my opinion I wish that he does turn out to return to this best form but he has been looking very shaky. So I think this is how Mikel Arteta could line up also next season as he is someone that has a very exciting squad given the fact that how they move in the summer transfer window with new signings such as Aaron Ramsdale and goalkeeper. Ben White in the right centre-back position and other players such as Sambi Lokonga, a young bright prospect, someone that for me could burst onto the first team in a real instance, the way he took the session, the way he took his interviews, the way he has experienced in his football career, I think it could be a regular starter and other signings such as Hosimao is something that Mikel Arteta definitely needs to improve that creativity because that's something that we lacked heavily last season and I think moving into the new season, I think we will have a very good squad to challenge for top four. So we will have to wait and see how Arsenal will use the summer transfer window in the end. Make sure you check out the FA Cup post season special link I have put below in the description and smash that like button to see if you can reach 30 likes. Also subscribe for more daily videos and share the video with your Arsenal friends and family. Click one of the latest videos on the screen and I will see you there.